जय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य गौर चंद्र जया दैत चंद्र जया जय नित्यानंद जय जय गदाधर जय श्रीनिवास जय मुकुंद वासुदेव जय हरिदास Hare Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. So we have our celebrating Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, uh, and uh, this is a continuing series where we have uh, many of our leading devotees speaking about Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita during up leading up to Gaur Purnima. Uh, this morning we have. A, uh, a a wonderful, wonderful, very advanced devotee from South Africa. He will uh, be uh, joining us with a video presentation, uh, Partha Sarathi Das Goswami. And as a short introduction, because he is a, a famous devotee in the areas that he has been serving lifelong, and uh, you may not know him uh, so much because he has really concentrated his service in a couple of areas of the world, South Africa and Ukraine and uh, uh, Russia. Uh, actually, uh, Parthasarathy Maharaj was sent to South Africa uh, in 1974, I think. Uh, and he is the longest serving devotee in South Africa from the very beginning. He's never left. Uh, it's uh, quite quite something. He's a, a pillar of the South African uh um, Yatra in his uh, 80s, uh, maybe 70s, 80s. Uh, he pioneered a uh, program of a tent campaign uh, where they would uh, set up tents in different uh, communities. And at that time, there was the apartheid in South Africa. And it was actually such, uh, uh, somewhat dangerous for him to be doing uh, this preaching, but he he carried it on for a very long time, made many, many devotees. And uh, along with uh, uh, His Holiness Bhakti Chaitanya Maharaj and uh, Ramanuja Acharya and uh, uh, His Grace uh, uh, Medavi uh, Maharaj also then helped with the establishment of the magnificent uh, uh, Sri Sri Radha Radhanath Temple in uh, Durban. So, uh, Maharaj has a message that he's recorded for us, and without uh, further ado, we'll uh, listen to Maharaj speak. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Nama Om Vishnu Bhadaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutalaya Shumati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namane Namaste Saraswati Devi Ngurvani Bhajaya Nivishish Shunyavari Praska Chanti Satari Pancha Kalpatru Bhya Sakrabhasandu Bhya Vaja Patitanam Bhava Nebhya Vaishnavi Bhya Namonava Chitanya Chaitam Bhoja Mukundali Ubhaji Isham Prasada Machana Paramabhaya My name is Bhatha Sarati Das. I've been given the title Goswami by my Siksha Sanyas Guru, and I've been invited by <clears throat> the GBC strategic planning team, specifically His Grace Gopal Bhatta Prabhu, to speak on um, approaching Radha and Krishna. One must first approach Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. So, I'm going to speak only 15 minutes. This is a very important subject. I think somewhat minimized within our ISKCON society. Um, I daily pray to Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda before chanting Hare Krishna. To tell you the truth, I chant Panchatattva Mantra sometimes once on, on a string of beads, which is 108 times, sometimes twice. Then another practice is before chanting Hare Krishna on every beat, on every round, you chant Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shedvaitika Rana Shiva Sri Gopakta. So, 
To substantiate this, I would just like to read Chaitanya Chaitamrita, Adi Lila, chapter 8, text 31. In the beginning, Prabhupada writes, one should very regularly chant Gaurasanda's holy name and then chant the name of the Nityananda. Thus one's heart will be cleansed of material desires. This is also confirmed by Srila Prabodhananda Saraswati, text 88, Chaitanya Chantamrita, Yata Yata Gora Padara Vinde. First, Lord Chaitanya, diving into the pastimes and instructions of Lord Chaitanya, and then Yata Yata Gora Padara Vinde, Radha Sudam Budu Prasapi, uh, then you surface in the Radha Krishna Lila. Further to this, Prabhupada has given some very pertinent instructions. <clears throat> Quote, For an ordinary man, worship of Lord Chaitanya Nityananda Prabhu or the Panchatattva is easier than the worship of Radha and Krishna. It's easier. Uh, it's understood there's no offenses accumulated uh, in the worship of Lord Chaitanya Lord Nityananda. Prabhupada says, Unless one is very fortunate he should not be induced to worship Radha and Krishna directly. Now, this is a very important statement I'd like you all to memorize. A neophyte student who is not sufficiently educated or enlightened should not indulge in the worship of Radha and Krishna or the chanting of the Ma Mantra. So, a neophyte student should not actually indulge in the direct worship of Radha and Krishna, or as Prabhupada says, the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. If he does so, he cannot get the desired result. So the emphasis is on definitely, before we chant our rounds, before we worship Radha and Krishna on the altar, first Lord Chaitanya, and prior to Lord, Nichanan, Lord Chaitanya, is the worship of Lord Nityananda. Lord Chaitanya is um, the saviour of the most fallen, Parama Patita Bhavan. Patita Bhavan, Lord Nityananda is Parama Patita Bhavan, and is described Lord Nityananda's associates like Udarana Dastako, or Parama Parama Patita Bhavan. Also, collaborate this matter. I recently read a very nice book by my senior god brother and Siksha Guru, His Grace uh, Ahendra Prabhu, who recommended that half of our japa, that's our 16 rounds minimum, should be to the worship of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. So of course he was a very serious devotee. So one should never minimize the worship of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. And I personally, for the last 30 years, have been chanting the Panchatattva Mantra um, one whole round, actually. And I find that chanting Panchatattva Mantra, actually, I go quicker than chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. My chanting of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is actually very slow because I want to hear every word very clearly. Uh, so it takes me over two and a half, perhaps two hours, 45 minutes. So, Prabodhananda Saraswati, Yatayita Gora Padara Bhinde. First the worship of Lord Chaitanya, uh, then the worship of Radha and Krishna. So we should take this very seriously. Um, there's another reference. Prabhupada speaking in that um, Canto 8, sorry, Chaitanya Chattamrita Adi Lila Chapter 8, text 24. It is very beneficial to chant Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda before chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Because by chanting Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, one immediately becomes ecstatic and then chanting Hare Krishna is free from all offenses. And then to add a side note, uh, Srila Bhaktivedanta Thakur's most important book is um, Jaivadharma, 
Chaitanya Sukhsamrita, which would be like an edited version of uh, Jayavadama, in that he says, um, before performing Radha and Krishna Smaranam, that means our attempt at thinking of Lord Krishna and Vrindavan, always remember Gaulila, because that will stimulate and awaken your bath, Asta Kaliya Lila. Hmm. So, of course, um, one has to be sufficiently advanced, at least on deep ruchi, to think of Vrindavan, Radha and Krishna. Uh, prior to that, uh, beginning ruchi, uh, nishta, one may have to discipline the mind with intelligence. But the instructions are there. Gaulila. Um, First of all, Chaitanya, in my humble attempt at bhajan, I would first think of Lord Chaitanya, Lord Nityananda, and Navadvip, Bank of the Ganges, Sri Vasangam, Swananda Sakata Kunj. And then, after some time, five or ten minutes, I think of Lord Chaitanya and Jagannath Puri. My favorite place is Gambira. Um, Todakopinath with Gadadha Pandit, dancing in Jagan Mohan, Grand Avenue, running on the beach in Jagannath Puri. And then I would actually think of Lord Chaitanya, Lord, Lord Chaitanya Balabhadra Bhattacharya, the Saniya Brahman, as they discovered Radha Kund, which is described in Chaitanya Chaitanya Madhya I think chapter 16, uh, first discovering uh, Radhakund, and then Lord Chaitanya walking from Radhakund to um, Kusum Saroba, and then first seeing Giriraj and chanting the famous verse, um, uh, worshipping Giriraj. Um, so, of course, these thoughts are promoted by one's intelligence. If you're fortunate enough to have deeper ruchi, then the taste will direct what you think of. Sometimes you may end up thinking of Gaulila while chanting Krishna's holy name for one hour. One has to go where the taste is or the ruchi. So we pray for this ruchi. <clears throat> and then deep ruchi is our shakti. Prabhupada said in Narada Pancharatra, no, Narada Sutra, text 2, on the stage of Ashakti, one can understand one's relationship with Krishna. So, of course, we're not so advanced. We're more neophyte devotees. So pray, Lord Chaitanya, Lord Nityananda, um, our favorite thoughts in Sridhar Mayapur, standing in front of the deities or in Prabhupada's Samadhi or particularly Bhaktivinoda Thakur's uh, Swananda Sakala Kunj and then gradually progress to Vrindavan not jumping like the monkey but going in a natural way so this is the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Lord Nityananda I've also memorized uh, there are 90, actually 110 names of associates of Lord Chaitanya described in Adi Lila, chapter 10. So I've memorized many of these and I chant to these, pray to these individual devotees. And then Lord Nityananda has 75 associates, ending with many Ketan Aramdas and Davandas Thakur. So we pray to these Vaishnavas, Advaita, has 37 associates, and then gathered up and at 55. And then, of course, we pray to our God brothers, and God sisters, and the grand disciples of Srila Prabhupada, who are serving as personal preaching mission of the International Society of Krishna Consciousness. Uh, Prabhupada clearly said, and you should memorize this, that the fact is, devotional service is bestowed by the blessings of 
a pure devotee. So the blessings of many Ketna Ramdas, the blessings of uh, Shinidi, Shiram, Pundarika Vidyanidi, the blessings of our Guru Bhaga, Prabhupada, Shravaksadanta, Kokisho, Bhaktivina, Jagannath, Madhvishidan Das Prabhuji Maharaj, Uddhava Das Prabhuji Maharaj, Aladev Vijibhusana, the Goswamis, etc. So it's the mercy coming from the Vaishnavas. Um, Lord Chaitanya gives power of eternity to the Vaishnavas. So in Iskam, we're very much attached to the worship of Prabhupada. And those that can help us increase our attachment to Prabhupada, Prabhupada's disciples, grand disciples, those that are following in his footsteps. Vancha Kapa Turubiya Sakri Basandu Viva Cha Pati Dhanam Bhava Nebhya Vishnu Vibhya Namo Namaha Vaishnu Vibhya Namo Namaha Namaha Vaishnu Vibhya Namaha Namaha Vaishnu Vibhya Namaha Namaha Shumati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Eti Namani Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Vajayani Devasishya Shanivati Prashkajati Sadar Many times I've read Chaitanya Chattamrita. Certain sections I've read perhaps a hundred times. Recently I've been reading Anchalila Chapter 3 which Shilari Das Thakur glorifies the holy name and some very nice realizations by the mercy of Prabhupada, came to me. So the subject is all jivas will go back to the spiritual world. So we know Lord Chaitanya, he sends the living entities back to the spiritual world, the animals in Jarakanda forest, Jagai Madai. Um, this particular verse, um, is very powerful. So it's text 79, as I mentioned, Adi Lila, Anti Lila chapter 3, English. As long as you, Haridas Thakur speaking, Shila Haridas Tamara Yavat, as long as you are situated within this material world, as long as you're within this material world, you will send to the spiritual sky all the developed moving and non moving entities in different species. Then you'll again awaken the living entities who are not developed, sukshma, and engage them in activities. So the word is tumi by kanza by tava. Tumi, you, that's a very familiar word of saying you, tumi, by kanza by tava will send. Uh, and then the word is uh, stava and jangama, all stationary and jangama, moving, sava, jiva, jati, all living entities. Now this is quite amazing to think about. All living entities, not just those in Navadweep or in Bharatavaja, India, uh, or on Earth planet or in America, but all living entities within the universe and the word is Sakla Brahmanda Jivera, Karila Nishtara, Sakala, all Brahmanda in this universe. Brahmanda means Lord Brahma's universe. All living entities. That means the fish, the sardines, the ants. Uh, I would also think Prabhupada would refer to the mm, trees in California lived for five or six thousand years, California redwood trees, they also will go back to the spiritual world. Um, Leonardo da Vinci, who lived at the same time as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, will also go back to the spiritual world. All living entities who were present when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared will return to me by Kuntha to the spiritual world. Not immediately, when their natural death approaches, 
for instance, the redwood trees in California, they're still alive, but they're destined for the spiritual world. And actually, this is mentioned nine times. Harry Cycle mentions nine times how all living entities will be liberated. Um, Tache to me, Navadweep Kari Abita. In your incarnation, to me, in Navadweep Abitari, in Navadweep. And then this word, Sakala Brahmanda Jivera Karila Nishtara. Nishtara means to deliver, to destroy. And Shilaharita Cycle said, previously, in your incarnation of Krishna, you also delivered all the living entities. And then he mentioned, and prior to that, as Ramchandra, you delivered all the living entities in Ayodhya. So this is not an exaggeration. Shri Krishna's Kaviraj is repeating uh, Shri Haridas Thakur's statement, and the word is Sakla Brahmanda, all living entities. So this is the extent of Lord Chaitanya's mercy. It's inconceivable. So what is our position? 500 years later, we have appeared in Western families, Indian families, Russian families, and we're dedicating our life to the service of Lord Chaitanya. So if 500 years ago, all jivas, stava, stationary or moving, went back to the Tumi Vaikuntha, went back to Vaikuntha, what is our position? Surely we will also go back to the spiritual world. So this is the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. As she were destined to go back to the Lord's pastimes. Right now, Lord Chaitanya's pastimes are going on, but not in this universe. We missed it by 500 years. That is such a darshan. But his pastimes are still going on in the form of this Hare Krishna movement. Prabhupada said the Lord has appeared as his Hare Krishna movement. So we will take birth in some Brahmanda where Lord Chaitanya's pastimes are going on right now. And that is called Vastu City. And then when those pastimes are finished, we take birth in Krishna's pastimes, which are also going on in this material world. And that is also a Vastu city, where further purification takes place due to our association with the Lord's coward boys, gopis, etc. Then when those pastimes are finished, we go back to Goloka Vrindavan. It's not that one can go from this condition, sadhana bhakti, from the stage of Ruchi or Shakti, or if we're lucky, Bob, straight to Goloka Vrindavan. There are steps. Just like a young child, the father will say, you go to school and you can become a high court judge. But there's many steps in between. A trick, um, university, a junior magistrate, and then there are many steps. Um, so, Lord Chaitanya's mercy is really difficult to understand. Shiva has also said, it defies description, the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. It defies description. And Rupa Goswami has written in Bhakti Samhita Sindhu, Duraha Advuta, Viriyosmi. It is very difficult to reconcile the power of the Holy Name, the power of Prashadam, the power of deity worship, the power of the Bhagavatam Bhagavad Gita, and the association of Vaishnavas, Matura Vasi. Very, very difficult. Duya and Duraha at Buddha. At Buddha is a secondary relationship with Krishna. There's Mukya and Gauna. Mukya is the five, Shantaras, Dasiras, Sakiras, Vatsaliras, Maduyaras, and Gauna are the secondary, and the seven, and Adbuta Ras is one of them, astonishment. Actually, this Adbuta Ras, or astonishment, is in every Ras, because it's just so astonishing. Krishna's friendship with the coward boys, Krishna with Mother Yasoda, Krishna with the gopis, even Lord Narayan and Vaikuntha. 
It's astonishing and ludicrous. So <clears throat> still we have to practice Krishna consciousness and we have to be serious, although we already have the ticket and we have to try to give it out to others. Become qualified and make others qualified. This is what Srila Prabhupada wanted. He wanted us to cooperate and work without friction. So this is just some personal realizations. Please read for yourself Antilila chapter 3 and you'll see how powerful is the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, how it can extend to Stava, Jangama, all moving, all living entities in the entire universe, as I mentioned, not just India. Um, and the destination is not some impersonal liberation. Tumi Vaikuntha is mentioned. You'll send them to Vaikuntha. And of course, if they're qualified, they may go to Ayodhya. And more qualified than that is um, Dwaka. And then Vrindavan is the topmost planet. Sakiras, Sadiras, Maduyiras. So this is made, being made available by, Chitun, uh, by Lord Chaitanya, specifically by Srila Prabhupada. And now our duty is to work together cooperatively and try to spread this message to other living entities. Vansha Kalpa Turubiyas Cha, Kribasandu Vyavacha, Patitana Pavanivya. Vaishnavi Vinamu Nama, Namu Vaishnava Namu Nama, Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai, Kaupremanandi Hari Hari Bhav.